welcome to the session in this session i am going to talk about the construction and working of lithium manganese dioxide cell and current challenges of battery technology lithium cells lithium batteries are available in two forms primary lithium batteries are available and uh, secondary lithium batteries are also available and uh, some lithium batteries they use uh, lithium in metallic form and uh, some or uh, most um, metal lithium batteries uh, they use uh, lithium in ionic form ali plus form and now uh, i am going to talk about uh, lithium manganese dioxide cell li mno2 cell which is a primary battery okay so this is available in many configurations lithium uh, mno2 cell battery that is available in the many configurations uh, uh, in coin form bobbin shaped uh, lithium mno2 cell is available then uh, prism prism shaped uh, lithium mno2 is uh, mno2 battery is also available and uh, it is available in uh, different uh, variants and also for uh, different applications also so for low drain applications uh, suitable li uh, lithium mno2 batteries are, are available moderate high moderate drain applications and high drain applications also uh, these uh, uh, lithium mno2 batteries are available in uh, different uh, variants and this uh, produces uh, a voltage high voltage cell voltage 3 volts of uh, uh, 3 volts uh, voltage is produced by this uh, cell and this uses uh, lithium for anode so metallic lithium is used in this battery okay uh, metallic lithium acts as anode in this uh, battery and especially uh, preheated preheated manganese dioxide for the active cathode material okay so ma uh, manganese dioxide mn4 oxide it is called Uh, that is uh, heated and that is used as the active cathode material and uh, act uh, electrolyte is the solvent uh, mixed organic solvent uh, and uh, lithium salts mixture is used lithium salts plus uh, mixed organic solvents so like uh, propylene carbonate and uh, one to dimethoxy ethane these two organic solvents are mixed and then uh, the mixture is again uh, uh, mixed with the lithium salts uh, this uh, uh, mixture this uh, combination is used as the electrolyte in uh, lithium mno2 cell so you can see in the picture uh, this is uh, the diagram showing the parts uh, or composition of the lithium mno2 cell this is uh, lithium metallic lithium which acts as the anode uh, this is the insulator uh, which uh, Uh, separates the cathode from the anode and this is the cathode that is a preheated manganese dioxide and uh, uh, this is electrolyte electrolyte mixture electrolyte matrix and this is the uh, cathode uh, outer layer which is a positive electrode and we have in the middle uh, absorbent uh, separators also are also there uh, this is uh, the construction of uh, lithium mno2 next cell reactions occurring here are very simple in this cell so anode uh, we are using here is uh, lithium lithium undergoes oxidation the reaction is uh, lithium li gives rise to li plus plus uh, electron one electron will be produced at the anode the electron will be uh, transported to the cathode through the load applied external external load applied and uh, the cathode used here uh, is uh, mno2 mn4o2 oxide uh, manganese dioxide so that will consume li plus ions and also electrons uh, electrons uh, which are produced see li plus ion is produced at the anode and electron is also produced at the anode li plus ion will pass through the electrolyte and it will reach the cathode and uh, whereas the electron will will choose a different path uh, and it will reach the cathode through the external load now both uh, li plus and a, uh, one electron will reach the cathode uh, where it will where they will meet the mno2 and mn4o2 plus li plus electron gives rise to 
LiMnO2 LiMnO3O2 is formed so the overall reaction will be Li plus Mn4O2 gives rise to LiMnO3O2 so this is a primary battery and here manganese from uh, manganese from plus 4 oxidation state is reduced to plus 3 oxidation state by the interstitially occupied lithium ions in the MnO2 intercalation. Okay, MnO2 layers in the, in the layers, these Li plus ions are there. Those Li plus ions, they will reduce the Mn4O2 to Mn3O2. And, uh, and this one, especially Li MnO2 cell, uh, it will produce a maximum of 3.5 volts. 3.5 volts. And so the electrolyte here, electrolyte mixer that will exhibit both electronic and ionic conductivity. Characteristics or advantages of LiMnO2 battery. High volumetric and gravimetric energy density. So in terms of mass, in terms of volume, energy density is high for this cell. And wide operating temperature. We can operate this one. We can use this battery. Uh, from uh, minus 20 to, to 55 degrees centigrade temperature. So this, this is a wide operating temperature range compared to other uh, batteries. And the performance uh, at the high discharge rates. So though uh, this is used for hydrogen applications also, this is suitable. Uh, its performance is uh, uh, okay. Uh, performance is good and uh, relatively low cost uh, lithium is of low cost so uh, lithium mno2 cell uh, uh, is somewhat cheaper so these are the advantages of uh, lithium mno2 cell and applications uh, lithium uh, lithium cells especially lithium uh, uh, mno2 cell has wide applications uh, so we use these batteries for applications uh, so where uh, we have uh, we need a long term memory backup like uh, sec uh, security devices, uh, CC cameras, uh, some other security applications, we use uh, lithium MnO2 battery and the safety devices also we use this one. Then uh, some cameras, uh, they use lithium batteries, lith lighting equipment and uh, many other uh, consumer electronic devices, uh, they use uh, lithium uh, MnO2 batteries. This is about the construction, working, advantages and applications of uh, lithium MnO2 batteries. Thank you. Challenges of battery technology. Let us discuss some major challenges that uh, the current battery technology is facing. First one, a means of increasing capacity and energy density while ensuring sustainability and green storage. Present battery technology falls short of meeting all the requirements which are met by large volume of applications linked to renewable energy and applications related to or linked to electric transportation fields. To meet these requirements, the current battery technology, it, sh it should compete with uh, gasoline. To compete, to compete with gasoline, the current battery technology, it has to increase its energy, its energy delivered by 15 times as the battery of 1 kg nowadays it uh, produces 180 watt hours of energy whereas 1 liter of gasoline gives uh, 3000 watt hours of energy so the capacity and energy density of a battery must be increased while ensuring sustainability and green storage that is the major challenge another major challenge is uh, safety increasing the safety during usage of the batteries. So manipulation of energy inevitably leads to intrinsic safety hazards uh, regardless of the devices or electrochemical systems which are being used. These risks increase with the size of the energy storing device. Hence, there is a requirement for extra safety conditions for large sized batteries. Next, another major challenge is uh, Reducing the cost of batteries. Current lithium ion battery technology that is expensive. Current lithium ion technology is expensive compared to lead acid technology. Lithium ion technology is spending $300 for producing a power of 1 kilowatts per hour. 
whereas lead acid technology it is spending 50 to 100 dollars only so at the material level the cost is mainly dependent upon the material synthesis process its abundance and renewability this is the reason why materials based on sustainable three dimensional metal redox elements such as lithium manganese oxide lithium iron phosphate made of uh, eco efficient process they are receiving increased interest when compared to cobalt or nickel based electrodes which are relying on limited elements and which are usually made at very high temperatures next challenge is uh, means to achieve sustainable and greener lithium ion batteries the concept of renewable electrodes is becoming increasingly important and more so as battery recycling will become mandatory owing to the foreseeable mass production dedicated by the electric vehicle market in the years to come it could consist of usage of electroactive organic electrode materials synthesized from green chemistry concepts through low cost process free of toxic solvents will gain importance so in future electrodes which are which we are using nowadays they can be replaced by renewable electrodes or electrodes uh, uh, made of electroactive organic electrode materials which are synthesized from green chemistry concepts which reduce the burden on the environment and uh, low cost process will come into existence which are free from toxic solvents which are used nowadays toxic solvents which are used nowadays they can be replaced by low cost process and toxic free solvents in future these are the major challenges of battery technology